Hi everyone. In this video, I will be reading Fly Guy Presents Snakes. A boy had a pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name, Buzz. I know where to find snakes at the zoo, said Buzz. Look, it's the snake house. Fly Guy was curious. Snakes aren't as scary as people think, said Buzz. Let's find out more. They opened the door and stepped inside. Snakes are reptiles. Lizards, turtles, and crocodiles are reptiles too. All reptiles have scaly skin, lungs for breathing, and backbones. Reptiles are ectotherms. Ectotherms. They cannot create their own body heat. They need sunlight to warm their bodies. It looks like this snake is having fun in the sun. Scales protect a snake's body and help it move. Scales are made of keratin, the same material as human fingernails. Some snake scales grip the ground like tire treads. Then muscles help them slither forward. As a snake grows, it sheds its skin. It sheds all of its scales, even those covering its eyes. The new skin underneath looks bright and shiny. Many snakes use the color and texture of their scaly skin to make it harder for other animals to see them. This is called camouflage. Camouflage. Buzz. There are more than 3,000 kinds of snakes in the world. Snakes can live on every continent except Antarctica. Most snakes live on land. Snakes can live almost anywhere. In grasslands, wetlands, deserts, forests, swamps, trees, and caves. Some snakes even live in the ocean. All snakes can swim, but sea snakes have flat tails. These special tails make it easier for them to move through water. Humans have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. Snake senses are similar, but snakes sometimes use different body parts for these functions. Snakes have two eyes, but no eyelids. Most snakes can only see what is right in front of them, and it is often blurry. A clear scale called a brilla, brilla covers each eye for protection. Snakes never close their eyes. Snakes do not have external ears. They do not hear sounds the way as humans, the same way as humans. They feel sounds as vibrations, vibrations in their bodies. No ears. Snakes use their nostrils to breathe, not to smell. They have forked tongues that help them taste and smell. Snakes flick out their tongues to pick up chemicals in the air. The taste of these chemicals tells them food is nearby. Snakes scales allow them to feel the texture of things they slither over like sand, dirt, grass, or water. Some snakes have a sixth sense. Pit vipers have special organs called pits between each eye and nostril. These pits allow the snake to see the body heat of animals nearby. That means pit snakes, such as rattlesnakes, can hunt in the dark. Pythons and boas also have pits. Their pits are located on the lips and lower jaw. These snakes sense the heat of nearby animals. Snakes have lived on Earth for about 140 million years. The largest snake ever discovered was the Titan boa. It weighed around 2,500 pounds. Titan boa lived around 58 million years ago. That's 5 million years after T. rex roamed the Earth. But this prehistoric giant was just as scary. The largest snake alive today is the green anaconda. Most anacondas grow as long as a pickup truck. Some can even be longer. The smallest snake is the Barbados thread snake. It is less than four inches long. Cutesy. Snakes eat and kill other animals called prey. Prey. Snakes can eat small mammals, birds, fish, worms, and even other reptiles or snakes. Some snakes, like boas and pythons, are constrictors. They coil their bodies around their prey and squeeze until the animal stops breathing. The bottom of a snake's jaw is loosely attached to the snake's skull rather than to the top jaw. 
This allows a snake to open its mouth wide enough to swallow the animal whole. Could a snake swallow me? Many snakes, like cobras, mambas, vipers, and rattlesnakes, bite their prey. The snake's sharp fangs shoot a deadly poison called venom, venom into the animal's body. The poison weakens, paralyzes, or kills the animal. Then the snake swallows it whole. Flies bites too? Sometimes snake bite, snakes bite humans. Many snake bites can be treated with a special medicine called antivenom. Antivenom, antivenom helps the body defend itself from the poison. About three quarters of the world's snakes lay soft, leathery eggs. These snakes are oviparous, oviparous babies. Fly guy, they may not like milk. Most snakes lay their eggs somewhere warm, like in a hole in the ground, under a log, or in a nest of leaves. Then the snake leaves the eggs to hatch on their own. But other snakes, like the python and the king cobra, stick around to warm or protect their eggs. Not all snakes lay eggs. Viviparous, viviparous snakes give birth to live babies. Anacondas, many sea snakes, and most vipers are viviparous. Rattlesnakes have special hard pieces on their tails. These hard pieces are made of keratin, the same material as snake scales. When a rattlesnake shakes its tail, these pieces vibrate and create a rattling sound. This sound warns predators to stay back. Way to shake, rattle, and roll. Every time a rattlesnake sheds its skin, it grows another piece on its tail. But don't try to guess a rattlesnake's age by counting its rattles. Snakes can shed a few times a year, and rattle pieces can break off easily. Some snakes live just a few years in the wild. Others can live to be more than 25 years old. People believe many things about snakes. Some of these things are true, but some are false. True or false. A snake can grab its tail in its mouth and roll after prey. False. A stressed snake may bite its own tail by mistake, but hoop snakes are not real. Snakes can hypnotize people. False. They look like they are staring because they don't have eyelids. Snakes dance to music. False. A snake might look like it's dancing because it can sometimes follow the movements of a flute. Snakes hiss. True, some snakes can push air through an organ in their throats. This makes a hissing sound. Flying snakes are real. True, sort of. Some tree climbing snakes can push off into the air and glide down to the ground. A scientist who studies snakes is called a herpetologist. Herpetologist. Some herpetologists study toxic snake venom and hope to use it to create cures for human diseases. Someday, venom that makes it hard for animals to stop bleeding could help save someone who is having a heart attack. Other herpetologists work at zoos or museums. They teach people about snakes and other reptiles. We sure learned a lot. Wow, said Buzz. I had no idea just how cool snakes really are. Buzz and Fly Guy could not wait for their next field trip. The end. Thank you for watching.